Also tonight, health concerns we first warned you about earlier this month have resurfaced. Doctors are now telling us about a spike in illnesses and infants and small children. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nikki Dementri is helping protect your family tonight. At Oshai Children's Hospital. RSV has hit us pretty hard this year. Doctors say there's a spike in respiratory cystitian virus, also known as RSV, a highly contagious and common respiratory virus that can be detrimental to young children and infants. We're breaking records in our emergency room and our pediatric ICU. Generally, doctors say there's upwards of 80 children admitted with RSV during this time of year. As of Monday, there were 200, with more than 60 in the ICU since November. We've uh, opened an additional area uh, for the pediatric ICU you for six more beds as well as overflow areas in their emergency room. Every year there's a different strain but no vaccine. In older kids and adults the virus shows as the common cold but for children under one it can turn into viral pneumonia sometimes requiring oxygen and IV fluids. RSV usually will hit in December uh, and January. We actually had our first case of RSV this year in September. Symptoms include a significant cough, wheezing, trouble breathing and a lack of appetite. If you notice that they're breathing fast, if you notice that they're having difficulty breathing, um, if their ribs look like they're getting sucked in, those are indications that you should come to the hospital immediately. This isn't the first time this has been an issue. Back in January of 2017, the hospital saw a 200% increase in RSV cases in just a month. 45% of the children are kept in isolation, many experiencing breathing problems. Once it gets into a community, it can spread very rapidly. Doctors say the best ways to prevent RSV is hand washing and disinfecting surfaces regularly. Now it's suggested that anyone with a child under a year of age should stay home away from large crowds and also don't go near anyone that is sick. In the newsroom, Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.